Well, right now we are uh, doing a combination between strength training and skill training, and then we add to it uh, recovery training as well, which is critical, especially at VMI where they're tested uh, mentally and physically off the field as well. So we break up in the day. Uh, we have a strength training group for 45 minutes, and while that's going on, there's a group on the field that has 45 minutes of skill training, and then there's a third group that has uh, 45 minutes of recovering or treatment uh, type of training for us. And then we, we break one of the groups because it's a larger group, the freshman group, in two. And uh, they come at an earlier time based on class schedule to get their lift in. So it, it's been very productive for us. We like what we're doing. On Saturdays, we crank it up with some teamwork, uh, non-contact teamwork and non-contact pass skeleton work to uh, get us ready for when we do compete this spring. How beneficial was it to have that, that week uh, plus in August camp uh, out on the field in a team setting uh, you know, for the first time with, with every, everyone on the, on the team and all their personnel? Extremely beneficial to uh, install all of our systems. We got six uh, practices in. Uh, we got uh, all of our special teams uh, work uh, added. We got to really evaluate all of our freshman players. Uh, for six practices and so uh, extremely helpful, very thankful that uh, we were able to get those six practices in. Do you look at those six practices, maybe the, the kind of a, uh, that spring practice you, you didn't have in the spring and that you, you're able to evaluate uh, a little bit more? It's similar, uh, similar to that. Uh, it's a little bit more intense because you go six days in a row versus um, uh, going every other day like we do in spring. But uh, at least it's given us something to evaluate on and work on. And, and again, we're very thankful to have, have those six days. How have the players handled this? I, I know there's been a lot of disruption, but they're now in the classes, into routine, uh, into a, a, a weekly schedule. Uh, uh, what's, what's the mindset of the team right now? So what, now what? I mean, improvise, adapt, overcome. It's the mindset of our team. Uh, you know, we actually think playing in the spring is beneficial for us in a lot of ways. Uh, we have get all our freshmen through the rat line before we compete on the, uh, on the gridiron. And we get some injured players, Josh Sherratt and Leroy Thomas, back full strength. So for us, it's beneficial to go in the spring, and we just look at the good things of it. And uh, we're looking forward to being the first team in Southern Conference history to win the SOCON championship in the spring. Coach, uh, looking ahead to the spring, where do you see some uh, key areas of, of depth and position development among the, the personnel? And certainly the, the kicking game is uh, a one that you're, you're going to be working hard on. Well, we have a new kicker. Uh, Jerry Rice was off to a great start uh, kicking short field goals. And then uh, Jack Colbreth, who's our punter in, uh, and uh, competing for the kicking job, too, uh, uh, was off to a fast start. And we're looking to improve those areas. Some key uh, additions. Uh, for the special teams play on our on all our units, which were you know highly successful last year, uh, the biggest area where we need to develop depth is at at linebacker. Among the returning personnel, what you've seen so far, and you haven't had a whole lot of evaluation, but who are some of the people who who've caught your eye and, and really project well going into the spring? Well, I think uh, Reese Udinsky is the best quarterback in all Division One FCS football, but of course I'm prejudiced there. I think Jake Harris is a difficult matchup for a lot of teams. Uh, Leroy Thomas looks to be back to full speed and I think he's a really dominant football player. I've liked uh, the early looks out of Corey Brighty. Uh, it's the best offensive line that we've had in my time here at VMI. It's the most depth we've had on the defensive line uh, in a long, long time. I really like uh, how big our linebackers are in Carter Johnson, Stone Snyder, and Noah Delaney Manuel. Uh, probably the best safety threesome we've had in a long, long time and very competitive there with Josh Surratt coming back. But Ethan Castleberry, A.J. Smith, and Ty Cloyd really uh, look good there in the secondary. And I think Aldrich Maury's as good a corner as we've had. So like the way the team uh, stacks up right now and uh, we're eager to get on the field and compete. Coach, finally, uh, what do you say to the fans there? That, you know, this time of year, you know, usually getting ready, uh, season opener, and they're just starving for football right now. Of course, uh, a different situation, a different time. But what do you say to the fans looking ahead to, to spring 2021? Well, we're starving for football in the spring. I mean, we've tried all the spring NFL leagues, and they fall and you know falter. So now you got key football in the spring. So you got a league that isn't going to fall and falter. 
come support the key that's in the spring. Same, same young men, you know, just playing at a little different time. You get to break out the cold weather gear early in the season, should warm up at the end, and uh, probably have to have an earlier kickoff or, or bring some lights into uh, to Foster Stadium. But uh, man, I mean, what could be better? You know, it, it, I just, I'm just excited for it. I think there's a, you know, I think fans might really embrace it and uh, come see us play. And you know, our kids will be ready. I guarantee you that.